Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Jessica and today I will be taking you through a crown chakra yoga flow. The crown chakra is located at the top of your head and it is associated with the colors either white or violet. The crown chakra is the seventh and final chakra and it truly encompasses the whole system starting from the root going all the way up to your head. This chakra goes beyond the physical world. It's your gateway to a higher power, awareness and enlightenment. When properly balanced, you should feel higher levels of serenity, joy and peace. In order to help balance this, today's practice will be a short asana flow where we focus on staying in the present moment with our breath. We will do a shavasana followed by a little bit of breath work and then a short meditation. Today's practice requires no props. It's suitable for all levels and we will begin in a child's pose. When you're ready, we will meet at the back of the mat Big toes together, knees apart, walking your hands forward, resting your head on the mat. Starting to bring awareness to the breath. Breathing in and out through the nose, filling up the lungs and the belly. Letting it expand through all four sides of the torso. Letting yourself be present in the moment. Thinking about the here and the now, not what you're going to do later or what you've already done today. Some affirmations we can pair with today's practice are, I live in the present moment and I trust my intuition and guidance. I live in the present moment and I trust my intuition and guidance. Take a few more moments here, connecting to your practice. Start to walk your hands over towards the right side of the mat, finding a deep stretch in the left side of the body. Breathing in and out. Lift yourself up and walk your hands over towards the left side of the mat, lowering your head down, finding a stretch in the right side of your body. Inhale here and exhale, fully here. Walk your hands back in through center, lifting yourself up, bringing your knees in so that they're closer together. Bring your hands to grasp onto your heels, your head down towards the mat, coming into rabbit pose, rolling forward onto the top of the head, finding a stretch in your shoulders, in your spine. There shouldn't be too much pressure on your head and your neck here. Breathe in and breathe out. 
Exhale, release, coming to a kneeling position. I'm gonna turn around to face you, but you can stay as you are. We're gonna find some cat and cows with an arm movement variation. So inhale, draw your arms into a T, expand your chest, look up. Exhale, draw your hands together, round your spine, draw chin into chest. Inhale, open your arms out, expand your chest. Exhale, curl it in. Follow your own breath here. Finding some fluid movement. Trusting your body. Trusting your guidance. On your next inhale, expand wide. Release your right hand towards the mat. Reach your left arm up and over, getting another side bend, gazing up. Inhale, reach up, drop your left hand beside you, reaching your right arm up and over, keeping your chest proud, lifted towards the sky. And let's flow with your breath here. Inhale, brings you up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, side bend. A few more times, following your own breath. Option to close down your eyes. Let your intuition guide you here. Notice how it feels. Don't worry about how it looks. Come back into center. Bring your hands back behind you, coming onto fingertips. Draw your elbows together and lift your chest up, gazing up, finding a deep stretch in the front of your shoulders, in your chest. Exhale, release. Coming on to hands and knees. Finding a circular motion in any direction. Your circles can be any size. Add some fluid movement into here, rounding and curling the spine. Getting a deep stretch in your hips, in your shoulders, your wrists. Switching the direction of your circles. Come back to a neutral spine. Extend your left leg out behind you reaching your heel towards the back of the room, drawing your navel in towards your belly. Option to stay here or also draw your right hand forward, coming into a balancing tabletop. Strong core, reaching towards opposite ends of the room, creating space in the spine. If you are here, bend your knee and maybe swan dive your arm back behind you, grasping onto your foot, coming into tiger pose. Kick your foot into your heel, drop your belly, gaze up. Release the hold. Bring your hand back down towards the earth and drop your toes towards the back of the mat. From here, roll onto the inner edge of your foot, lift your arm up towards the sky, coming into side plank variation, gazing up towards your hand. Strong core here. 
engage your abdomen use your arm to help pull yourself up into a gate pose variation drop your left hand towards left thigh reach your right arm up and over release bringing your hands out in front of you rocking back and forth getting a stretch in your inner thighs come to stillness raise your right arm up towards the sky open yourself up to a twist and exhale thread your right hand underneath your left coming onto shoulder and ear option to keep your hand where it is pushing you to the mat supporting you or you can lift it up towards the sky finding a deeper twist you can bring it to your back or wrap it around your thigh finding a few breaths here inhale and exhale bring your hand back down to the earth from here we're going to go into a little bit of a funky transition you can either lift your foot up off completely of the mat or you can slide your toes back behind you coming into a balancing thread the needle variation we won't be here for very long it can be challenging to hold a balance but stay strong stay in the present moment focus on your breath come back into the gate pose variation lift yourself up out of the twist counter stretch open yourself up back up and exhale release walking your hands towards the front of the mat coming back into tabletop shake out your hips a little bit shake out your arms from here extend your right leg out towards the back of the room flexing your toes down towards the earth drawing your navel in extending the left arm in front of you staying here or taking a bind bending your back leg reaching back coming into tiger pose kicking your foot into your hand gazing forward exhale release the hold lower your foot towards the mat turning onto the inner corner reaching your right arm up towards the sky coming into your modified side angle using core strength help lift yourself up into gate pose immediately going into the bend dropping your right hand towards right leg lifting your left arm up and over exhale bring your hands in front of you inhale reach your left arm up towards the sky opening up into a twist and exhale thread your left hand under your right dropping shoulder and ear towards the mat option to stay here or you can reach your arm up towards the sky maybe bringing it towards your back breathing here in this twist inhale and exhale i live in the present moment i trust my intuition and guidance lower your hand back towards the earth try to lift your foot up off the ground and sweep it behind you coming into a balancing thread the needle pose if you fall out of it that is perfectly okay just try to come back into it 
If it's too much to balance, you can lower your foot towards the ground. With control, bring your leg back out into the gate pose. Lift yourself back up, finding that counter twist again, opening your chest towards the left side of the room. And exhale, plant your hands, walking your hands back towards the top of the mat, coming into tabletop. Shake it out once again. Find a little movement here. Bring your hands an inch or two in front of you. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. First one of the practice. Hands are shoulder width apart. Heels are hips width apart. And these can be bent. Tailbone reaching towards the sky. Draw your chest towards your thighs. Let your head be heavy. Breathing in and breathing out. Staying in the present moment. Bend your knees, gaze forward and step towards the top of your mat, coming into forward fold, Uttanasana. Knees can have a generous bend here. Relax your spine. Relax your head, maybe find a sway from side to side, shaking your head yes and no. Staying with your breath. We'll inhale to a halfway lift, hands to thighs or shins, gazing forward, crown of the head forward. And exhale, fold on over. We'll flow with our breath a few times. Inhale, reaching the crown of your head forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, comes halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, bring your heels, weight into your heels, and roll on up, coming into Tadasana, reaching your hands up towards the sky, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, stepping back into plank pose, finding a breath here. And on your exhale, lowering all the way down towards the mat, coming into cobra pose, pushing your hands into the mat, lifting up. Exhale, coming back, downward facing dog. Finding your breath here, breathing in and breathing out. On your inhale, reach your right leg up towards the sky, keeping it nice and straight. And exhale, step your foot in between your palms at the top of your mat. Find your foundation in your legs, ground down through your feet. Find strength in your core and lift your arms up in front of you, maintaining this straight position in your back, letting wisdom, guidance, intuition flow in through your arms, through the crown of your head, all the way down your spine. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky now, finding your high lunge. Breathing in and breathing out, nice and strong. And exhale, open up, planting your heel towards the mat, coming into warrior two. Soften your shoulders away from your ear. Knees are over, knees over your heel. Inhale, flip your palms, reach your arms up and back, coming into reverse warrior. Exhale, come back into warrior, straighten your leg, 
Send your hips back, chest forward, and then drop your right hand towards your, towards your thigh or towards the mat, coming into triangle pose. Keeping your chest turning towards the front of the room. Gazing up if that's okay for your neck today. Breathing here. Look down towards the mat. Frame your front foot. Lower your knee. Coming into Anjaniyasana, low lunge. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Find a breath here. And exhale. Coming into plank pose. Coming down all the way to the mat. Inhale for your cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Find your breath here. Breathing in, breathing out. I live in the present moment. I trust my intuition and my guidance. Inhale, reach your left leg up towards the sky, keeping it nice and square. And exhale, bring your foot in between your palms at the top of your mat, grounding down through your legs, through all four corners of your foot. Use core strength up, raise your arms in front of you, drawing a long line of energy through your fingertips all the way down to your heels gazing forward building heat building strength confidence <sighs> breathing in breathing out staying present and inhale reach your arms up towards the sky coming into high lunge Open up towards the long edge of your mat, coming into warrior two. Generous bend in the front knee. Knee tracking directly over your heel. Gazing over your front fingertips. Flip your palm. Reverse warrior. Gazing up. Breathing in. Exhale, come back into warrior two, straighten your front leg, send your hips back, torso forward, coming into triangle pose, trikonasana. Hands can either come to your shins, to a block or to the floor. Focusing on maintaining your breath. Look down towards the mat, frame your front foot, bend into your front knee, lower your back knee towards the earth, and root to rise up into Anjaniyasana, low lunge. Breathing here. Exhale, coming, framing your foot, coming into plank pose. Bend your elbows, lower down halfway or all the way to the mat, coming into either cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Finding your breath. Coming back to the present moment. Lower your knees towards the earth. Walking your hands back. Coming up onto a kneeling position, you can tuck your toes or keep your heels um, or keep your toes untucked. We're going to come into camel pose and bring your hands towards the back of your mat. Send your hips forward and your chest up towards the sky, gazing up. You shouldn't feel any pressure in your low back here. Breathe into the heart space. 
exhale, release, shake it out a little bit. We'll come into this one more time. Bring your hand towards your low back. Draw your tailbone down. Send your hips forward. Draw your elbows together. Gazing up. Breathing here. Option to take it a little bit further this time by reaching your hands towards your heels. Sending your chest up towards the sky. Doing what feels good for your neck today. If you want to drop it back, that's okay. Exhale, coming out. Bring your hands towards your heels, coming back into rabbit pose, dropping your forehead towards the mat, rolling onto the top of your head. A nice counter stretch to the deep back bend there. And exhale, come into child's pose. Any variation. I'm doing an easy child's pose with my knees closer together and my hands towards the back of the mat. Lift yourself up out of this pose. Bring your feet out in front of you, drawing the soles of your feet together, coming into Baddha Konasana, your butterfly fold. Hands can either be resting on your feet or on your shins. Inhale, draw your spine nice and tall, and exhale, fold forward any amount. If you have the space in your body, you can walk your hands forward. I like to hold on to my feet and use my elbows to help draw my knees down a little bit. Let your spine relax here. Let your head be heavy. Take three more breaths in this position. Lift yourself back up, using your hands to help draw your knees back in towards your chest and come to lie on your back, drawing your knees in towards your chest. Grasp onto the outer edges of your feet, coming into happy baby pose, reaching the soles of your feet towards the sky, pulling your Pulling your feet down towards your shoulders. Option to rock side to side here, releasing the spine, getting a little massage. Release the grasp of your feet, sending them wide towards the edges of the mat, coming down into Shavasana. Coming back to a steady breath rhythm. Closing down the eyes or softening the gaze. Letting every muscle in your body relax. 
softening the space between the brows, unclenching the jaw, relaxing the shoulders and the arms, letting them be heavy on the ground, letting your hips be heavy, releasing all tension from your thighs. Finding a few moments of breath here. Start to bring some awareness back to your breath. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Create some movement in your wrists and your ankles. Draw your legs in towards your chest and roll over onto one side, coming into a fetal pose, resting your hand, head in your arm, finding a few breaths here.
when you're ready pushing yourself up coming into a comfortable seat and sit with your legs crossed either up on a bolster or a block if you find it more comfortable to sit on your knees you can go there using your right hand bring your two fingers in towards your forehead using your thumb and your ring finger to close down your nostrils we're going to find some alternate no nostril breathing here you can close down or soften the eyes we'll start by drawing a big breath in through the nose and exhale fully close down the right nostril using your right thumb inhale through your left nostril hold at the top close down your left nostril with your ring finger open up and breathe out through your left through your right nostril inhale through your right nostril hold at the top block it with your thumb exhale through your left inhale through your left hold at the top exhale through your right inhale through the right hold at the top exhale through the left inhale through the left hold at the top exhale through the right Continue this on your own for a few rounds of breath. Do two more rounds. Finishing by breathing out through the right nostril, keeping the eyes closed, lower your right hand back towards your knee, take a deep inhale through both nostrils, exhale, let it go, keep the spine nice and long. The crown of the head reaching towards the sky and stay here for a few moments with this breath that you just cultivated
start to deepen your breath. Take a deep breath in through the nose, sigh it out through the mouth. Option to keep your eyes closed or your gaze softened. Or you can start to flutter your eyes open. Noticing how you feel in this moment. How today's practice went. Draw your hands together towards heart center. We'll close with another releasing breath in through the nose, side out through the mouth. Bring your hands towards your third eye, bowing forward. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment on what you thought and join me for my next video. Thank you. Bye.